All right, what is going on today, you guys? Um, so today I'm going to be improving this controller by putting a different clip on it. Instead of having that old uh, little clip right here, I'm gonna be adding one of the ones for the iPad. And since I have the DJI Phantom standard, it doesn't come with that nice big clip in the middle. It comes with that little crappy one on the outside. I'm gonna be unboxing this thing right here with this little small knife here. I'm sure you already know what's in here. Never cut towards you, by the way. I'm irresponsible. Okay, get rid of this unsafe knife. Okay, so. Oh, that's what I was stabbing. So here's the thing that comes from DJI bubble wrap. So in the, it comes from the Inspire one, by the way. Definitely get this one, cause I'll show you in a second. Oh man. So the reason why you want to get this from Inspire one, from the Inspire one, is because instead of having a little crappy plastic piece right here, you have a really nice metal piece, which is great. Take the plastic off. The other stuff we have is this not here so in the in the very near future i will be purchasing a new camera because right now i'm using my iphone which i hate using and even though the iphones have really good quality i just hate using it for this kind of thing so i already unscrewed the remote just pop it open you're gonna have this is kind of tough to get out let's find out how i did this usually to start out you just pry the bottom open like that i think Go down. There you go. I don't, I don't want to break it. Yes. God, that is not very easy. I don't think anything's broken. That's good. So if you're gonna do this to your DJI Phantom Standard, three standard, my advice is whenever you're gonna take these wires out, you label each of these little uh, things. Like I colored them a different color each. I'll show you what I mean in a second. What I did, ooh, that's really dark up here, sorry. What I did was I, see you can see a little bit of marker on that one. And so I labeled each one with a different color. That one being black, blue, and red. And then I also labeled the little wires so I know which one goes where. So how you connect it is this, you, let me try and get this right position so I need to loosen that up a little bit. So you put this right here and you see how it's hooked, not hooked up, but this is where you're gonna hook the little nut into. So you're gonna wanna do that and just do a little mark at the bottom. And you're gonna you're gonna wanna screw your hole like right here. So that's where you're gonna wanna do that. I'm gonna start out with one eight. I just wanna get the, the hole drilled how I want it. Okay, we sorta of made our first hole. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What is that? Okay, sorry about that. Just had a little bit of issues there. Put that in a caption or something, but right there, seven over 32, uh, drill bit to drill this hole. That's all you're gonna need to do. So make sure you get this as tight as possible here. So your tablet isn't wobbling around. That's what it looks like. Wow, nice. This is great. Now, I have this little tablet. Ew, that's all greasy back there. Don't touch the back, it's all greasy. This is what, it's look, what it looks like in the end. 
Let's go test it out. Oh, and I have like a little tablet. But I don't have an iPad, which is too bad. This is awesome. Let's go outside. Oh, I gotta put the tablet on this thing for the first time. See if it fits. Let me extend it first. I love this. That's pretty good. So. Wow, that's so stable. All right, so now I'm just gonna test it out. Fly around a little bit. Don't tell me it's dead. Of course it's dead. Not the drone, but the tablet's dead, awesome. I'll be back out soon. And now we're gonna try and fly it. That's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later. All right.